I'm really thrilled because a wonderful Indian gentleman wrote in to me and he said, where's your next video? He said, I want you to really talk about the evolution of a joke. So today I'm going to talk about a joke that I really love. It's about an inappropriate massage therapist named Andy. And I've been working on this joke for a year and it's changed so much. It's changed based on audience feedback. And I got to say, if you're a new comic or if you're not, just get on stage as much as you can. I'm on my third round of doing 90 mics in 90 days. Today was day 66. I hit mic 67 right before this. And it's just it's just so incredible what happens to you when you when you take this material, it could be just raw material, just take it on stage. And the reactions, the audience, all these things help help me build a joke. So I have this joke about this inappropriate massage therapist named Andy. And it started out, I, I go to an acupuncture and massage place, right? Because I have these long periods of celibacy where I just, I need human touch. So. <laughs> like, I get, I get massages, okay? I get massages, so I don't need to have sex. So I get massaged and acupuncture and all that stuff. And then one day I was in there and I heard someone through the wall <laughs> complaining to this manager. I don't want Andy. He's kind of sexual. And I feel like he doesn't see me as a person. <laughs> and so I, I, um, I just went into fantasy land after it. And that's part of what the joke is. The joke is kind of like me going into fantasy land. And so I'm behind this woman. I'm like, I want Andy. <laughs> I want Andy. I want to me Andy. <laughs> so after I did that, I just did it on stage like ridiculous number of times. Uh, I want Andy. I want Andy. I want Andy. I want Andy. So basically I've been yelling on stage. I've been yelling on stage a lot. But some people are like, well, what do you do when you when you get Andy? What are you gonna do? And then a friend of mine we, we just started making a list of things and a lot of them sounded like that character Mercy from the movie, from the movie in the book, Stephen King's book, Mercy, uh, who's also a nurse. So, so I just started imagining like, what would I do if I had this, this someone who's just kind of programmed to be inappropriate, right? What would I, what would I do with that? I don't want to think of a monster, but sure I gotta leave his arms and his legs shackled. Put the food tray under the door. That's just until we establish trust. <laughs> so I like him. He's really quiet. He's a good listener. I think it's because my socks are shoved into his mouth. And I have a really warped sense of humor too. So. And Landon from Chicago, thank you Landon. He wrote in, he's like, you should make a t-shirt. So I made t-shirts that say, um, I want Andy. Who else wants some Andy? Here's some Andy! I want to tie him up. So I was screaming for the longest time. And then, then I got a suggestion from someone. She said, well, what, it's, that's not really happening. She's like, well, what if, well, what would it look like if it was really happening? And so I took it down so many notches. So I'm like, excuse me, um, pardon me, can you, can you just move up? I, I, can we, I, 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 I want Andy. I, can 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 I, Andy? I want to drug him, I want to dress him up in a cat costume, I want to take him in my closet and take him out when I need him. So anyway, guys, now I have no closet space. <laughs> and then I went on to this whole Pizza Hut Taco Bell angle. Like, I would go to this place, it's acupuncture and massage slash Pizza Hut Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> and what would that be like? Bring in a good rub down with my choice of toppings. <laughs> I get a deep tissue with a deep dish. <laughs> so the, the joke has just gone, it's just gone on all of these different rides. And, you know, I listen to other people's feedback and there are other comedians who I really dig and they give me feedback and it just confuses the crap out of me. So I don't even know. I, you know, <laughs> we were talking about the evolution of a joke. I don't even know where it is not right now. I don't know if I like the screaming version or the down to earth version. I have no idea. I, I, I just got to get in front of real people and try it out.
I think that's the only thing. And I've been, I had been doing a lot of shows and the last month has been kind of quiet, but February is going to pick up. So I'm going to do it a bunch then. Um, but so that's the evolution of my Andy joke and it still feels unfinished. You know, I don't know. I guess that's just the way it's the way it is right now. Come here, Joe. My cat's here. Jojo. Hello, Joe. This is, this is my cat, Jojo. Yeah. He's, he's super happy. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you like this, please like the video, please subscribe. My other videos are usually more exciting, but I don't know. Today I was just like, I'm just going to make this video because I've been putting it off forever and I'm getting on stage a lot. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Thanks so much. Have a great night.